It was Joe Mazzula after Mazzula had been promoted to lead assistant before the Ime Udoka departure. Wanted to pick Quinn Snyder's brain. You know, trying to take that next step as a coach, lead assistant at the time, forged up an interesting little bond. They kept in touch. And it's crazy to think here they are coaching against each other in the playoffs. Well, the connection, Brad Stevens, right, with Quinn Snyder, with Missoula. Now, if Quinn Snyder is coaching, they don't make that connection. But I, I think it just shows to the amount of respect that a younger coach has for Quinn Snyder and what he was able to accomplish at Utah. And now you find they find themselves hitting against each other, you know, in the first round of the playoff. Wild. Atlanta leaves some points at the free throw line. Eight and change left, fourth quarter. What a scene this has been in Atlanta. Brown. No. Horford taps it in. Al Horford, first nine years of his career in Atlanta. Multiple All-Stars. Massive play. Collins on a three-point check. John Collins quiet through the first four games. He has come alive for Atlanta. White to Brockton. Knights into the paint. Blocked by Okonwu. Horford getting it back for the Celtics. They don't have numbers. They're going to attack anyway. This is Brown. Left-handed shot. Collins got a piece. And Atlanta's defense starting to turn up the heat. One point Hawks lead. Here comes Trey. Contact Horford with a rip. Here comes Brown. Wild pace. Brown to the wreck. And, and I love that with Jalen Brown because he got denied on the last one. But instead of hesitating, he immediately attacked John Collins back then. 29 for Brown. Can he get the Celtics? Into the semis and close it out tonight. Collins. Sixteen for Collins. He had twenty-two in game five. Mark Davis blows his whistle here. Weak side. This will be against the Atlanta. Hassan Collins. And that will be his second for that sweet stroke of Collins. Big part of the story here in Atlanta. They're up.